Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. In today's tutorial video, we will learn how we can program an analog output in the PLC, and how we can connect this analog output signal with the VFD as a speed reference signal, so that using this analog output signal we can control the speed or RPM of the motor. Before starting this session, I would like you guys watching this video to please subscribe this channel and help us to make more videos. Let's see now the setup for the today's tutorial video. First we have a Siemens CPU 314, if we open the cover of the first slot, here we can see the connector for analog inputs and outputs. This particular CPU have two analog output channels. Terminal 17 is the current output for channel 0, and terminal 19 is the current output for channel 1. And terminal 20 is the common terminal for these analog outputs. Next we have a Danfoss VFD, we will connect analog output signal from the PLC, to the analog input terminal of the VFD as a speed reference. Terminal number 60 is the analog current input of the VFD, and terminal 55 is the common terminal for this analog input. Terminal 12 and terminal number 18 is the run command of the VFD. If we short these terminals with a relay normal open contact, VFD get a run command signal, and motor starts to run. This means that, we need a digital run signal and analog speed reference signal from the PLC to be able to run the VFD. Now let's see the wiring for this application. First we will connect a positive and negative wires of the 24 volts DC power supply, to the 21 and 30 terminals of the second slot connector. This second slot is for the digital inputs and digital outputs. By applying 24 volts DC at 21 and 30 terminals, we activate this slot of the digital outputs. Next we will connect negative wire from power supply, to the A2 terminal of the relay. Now we have to connect a digital output signal from the PLC, to be able to turn on this relay. So we will connect a wire from the digital output terminal 22 of the PLC with the relay A1 terminal. Now when this output Q124.0 goes high, this relay will turn on. This relay will be used to give a run command signal to the VFD. To do this, we will connect two control wires at terminals 12 and 18, one control wire we will connect at the common terminal of the relay, and the other control wire, we will connect at normal open contact of the relay. When this relay turns on these two wire shorts, and VFD gets a run command signal. Analog output signal wiring is very easy, we will connect analog output terminal 17 and 20, to the analog input terminals 55 and 60 of the VFD. Now the wiring is completed here, let's discuss few parameters of the VFD, which we have to change to be able to configure this VFD's analog input as a speed reference. We can use parameter 3-15, reference source to configure this analog input as a frequency reference input. We can select two to configure this analog input as a reference frequency source. There are two other parameters which I want to discuss here are minimum and maximum reference 3-2 and 3-3 parameters. These two parameters defines the minimum speed of motor at 4 mA and maximum speed at 20 mA analog input signal. For this example I set 0 Hz speed at 4 mA, and 50 Hz at 20 mA analog input signal. Just a side note here. The speed of the motor will not exceed speed which we have entered in the parameter 4-14, which is the maximum speed limit. If we want to run at higher speeds, we have to increase the speed limit in the parameter 4-14. In the last we have to set the minimum and maximum range of the analog input current signal for, terminal 60. By default minimum signal is set to 0 mA, we can change it to 4 mA. High limit is set to 20 mA, and it is good to go. Now let's see the programming for PLC. First we will create a new project in the Somatic Manager, and open the hardware configuration. If you are new or want to learn how to create a new project in Somatic Manager, you can click card on the upper right corner. Moving on, if we open the properties of the analog channels. Here you can see that the by default analog output channels are set to 0 to 10 volts. We will change channel 0 as current output with 4 to 20 mA range. Now if we click on the address tab, here we can see that the address for channel 0 is 752. Next if we open the properties of the digital signals, here we can see that, the address of the digital outputs is starting from 124. This means that the address of the first digital output is Q124.0. Q124.0 digital output will be turning on, and off the relay for VFD run command. Next we will save and compile the hardware configuration, and open the programming block OB1. Here we will drag and drop the FC106 unscale function. 
This function is used to generate the analog output signal. We will put MD10 double register at in, input of this function. This will be scaled value for the analog output. Next we will put low limit as 0.0, .0 and high limit as 50.0. This will set the 0.0, .0 as 4 mA and 50.0 .0 as 20 mA of analog output. Next we can assign a bit to set this scaling block as unipolar or bipolar. Next we will assign memory word MW20 to the return value to show any alarm codes in case. Next we will assign the output register PQW752 for the channel 0, analog output value will be transferred to channel 0 via this output word 752. For the run command of the VFD, we will simply turn on the output Q124.0 with a memory bit M0.1. Next we will go back to the main project and create a variable table. This variable table will be used to modify the register MD10 values, for the analog output channel 0, and secondly we can force on and off run command bit M0.1 with this variable table. Next we will upload the project in the PLC and go online to monitor this function. Now if we turn on the run command bit M0.1, it will turn on the digital output Q124.0, and the relay will turn on and VFD gets a run command signal. As you can see that the motor is still not running, because the analog output signal is still set to 0, and VFD output frequency is 0. Now if we set the MD10 register value to 10 in the Vatable table. You can see that the VFD output frequency changes from 0 to 10 Hz, and motor starts to run at 10 Hz frequency. Now if we set the MD10 register value to 25 in the Vatable table. You can see that the VFD output frequency changes from 10 to 25 Hz, and motor starts to run at 25 Hz frequency. Now if we set the MD10 register value to 50 in the Vatable table. You can see that the VFD output frequency changes from 25 to 50 Hz, and motor starts to run at 50 Hz frequency. Now if we turn off the run command bit M0.1, and it will turn off the run command relay, and VFD output frequency goes 0 and stops the motor. So, this is how we can control the speed of the motor using VFD, and the analog output of the PLC. I hope you like it. Please share like and subscribe this channel for more video tutorials. Till next time take care and goodbye.